Hello and welcome to the Blackwell Convergence. I am Matthew Marco of the website abnormalmapping.com and we're here to do a let's play of this game. Uh, if you've been following along, we've previously done uh, the Blackwell Legacy and Blackwell Unbound. This is the third game in the series by Dave Gilbert. And uh, we're going back to Rosangela today uh, and Joey. So let's start up. Hello? Anybody there? You're really expecting an answer. I was just checking. Well, you checked. Now open the door and let's see what's in there. I don't need a tutorial. I think I know how this works. Joey, the door is locked. Yeah, I can see that. Looks like it's up to me. Oh, we have an item. 2007, Campaign Jinx by Jeremy Sam. City Commissioner hopeful Alex Silva announced a home base change yesterday after renovations of the new campaign headquarters at 354 West 80th Street failed to go as planned. The decision comes after months of difficulty. Three construction contractors hired to do the renovations have all left the job without warning. None of the contractors can be reached for comment, but Silva's critics have joked that his campaign is jinxed before it's even begun. But there's a ghost. Because of course there is. Anything in notes? Nope. Okay. Switch to Joey. Come on through. Hmm. Charming. Well, what do you see? Nothing. Yet. I'll see if there's a way to open that door. Um. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? There's a key. I should probably take a closer look before messing with it. The production values seem definitely higher. Look at this nice rain. It's quite lovely. Looks like a paper clip. Hey, Dollface, I got a present for you. Joey, a paper clip just blew past my shoe. It's all yours, darling. What do I do with this? Try opening the door with it. Does that actually work? Sure, why not? Uh, you actually can pick a lock with a door clip, but you need to, like, uh... Practice, it's not actually that easy. I have no idea how to do this. Just keep trying, darling. It's an old door, it shouldn't be any trouble. It keeps slipping! This isn't going to... work. Oh ye of little faith. No ghosts. Not yet. You think something's coming? Not sure. I feel... Something. Might as well take a look around first, just in case. Relatives of yours, Joey? Huh? You know, the spooky sheet. I don't get it. Never mind. Well, Rosangela certainly seems like she's, uh... gotten more, uh, engaged in things. All I could find was a newspaper clipping. Looks like an obituary. Alan Riken of Riken Publishing and Supply was found dead yesterday afternoon. Witnesses saw Riken fall from a great height, landing on the sidewalk outside of his office building at 354 West 80th Street. Officers at the scene ruled the death a suicide. Well, guess they know who's haunting this place. Okay, we've got notes. I'm not opening the window. It's pouring outside. Hmm. How about Joey, then? I'm not floating out in the rain unless I have to. Oh. Can't touch him. Did you pull the sheet down, maybe? Oh, yep, yeah, here we go. Oh, Joey. Yeah? I think I found it. Well, will you look at that? What's he doing out there? There's only one way to find out. I am not climbing out onto the window ledge. What are you kidding? Leave the dangerous stuff to the dead guy. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's see what this spook has to say. Yeah, I know the drill. I'll wait here. Hello. Stay back. I mean it. I'll do it. 
What are you doing out here? I... I don't know. There's no place left for me to go. There's gotta be a better place than this. Come on inside. Don't come any closer. I swear, I'll jump. Jump? You're here to kill yourself? Maybe. I don't know. I can't think of anything else to do. Hmm. Hey, are you Alan Riken? It's been a while, you might not remember. No, I don't remember at all. Although, I've had a lot on my mind. Yeah, that's why I'm here. I thought you could use someone to talk to. Did my wife put you up to this? Wife? No, no, just here for an old friend. Okay. I'm not sure who you are, but you seem to know me. What do you want to talk about? Listen, Alan. Concentrate and take a look around. Doesn't anything seem strange? Out of place or off kilter? No. You don't remember falling? Falling? No! Of course not! I came out here and stayed. I haven't jumped yet. Right, right. Never mind. Well, that didn't work. Surely things can't be all that bad. Oh, surely they can. Do you know what it's like to lose everything? To have everything you loved and struggled for just vanish? I know something about that, yeah. Then you know what I'm going through. Hmm. So what happened, Alan? What brought you to this? A fire destroyed my entire stock. The resulting lawsuits bankrupted me. That's no reason to kill yourself. You don't understand. I spent my life building this business. When it happened, I lost everything. Everyone deserted me. People I thought were friends. Even Sandra. Sandra? My wife. I enjoyed this rain. It's weird that it pauses when I do this. Where is your wife? She left. She won't even talk to me. I just get phone calls from her lawyer. I thought she'd stick by me. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Hey, your wife's inside. Really? Yeah, she wants to talk to you. I don't believe you. Come on, now's your chance to win her back. Well, all right. Hey, that was easy. There she is. That's my wife? That's Sandra? Wife? Sure, don't you recognize her? It's hard to see clearly for some reason. Is that red hair? She dyed it. Go on, talk to her. Sandra? Is that really you? Uh, sure. Sure, it's me. I'm Sandra. Why are you here, Sandra? Well, uh... Um, I don't want to give him false hope. But maybe she still care. like, is that... I love you, Alan. That's why I'm here. You love me? Sure. After your pet lawyer took everything I had left? Uh, sure. You expect me to trust you? Sure. Sandra, watch very carefully. I'm going to jump, and it'll be your fault. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Way to go. I've never been a wife before. Well, I'm let's gonna go. take another crack at him. Okay, I'll wait here. That didn't work. Maybe next time, if I get another next time, I'll just say he deserved it. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. So your wife left you, huh? Yeah. Figures. What? Look at yourself. Everyone knows that if a ship is sinking, you abandon it. I can't blame her for leaving. Anybody would. That's. That's. Mm. Completely true. Oh, Joey, why you gotta be so mean? Nice view, huh? Is it? Yeah, I guess it is. Makes you feel like you're king of the world. I used to feel that way. Now, I'm not sure. The world's full of pretty broads, Alan. You shouldn't get all weepy over just one. Come on. Look at me. I'm pushing 50, 
overweight, and not to mention broke. What woman would want me? Hey, you like redheads? Huh? It's a simple question. Do you like redheads? Sure, I guess. Great, I've got a girl who's perfect for you. You do? Sure, she's inside. Wanna meet her? Is this a trick? Of course not. Okay. There she is. Go on, introduce yourself. She's kind of young for me, isn't she? Don't let that stop you. What are you doing? Shh! Go on, Tiger. She's waiting. So, you've been asking about me. Oh, um, sure. Really? Why? Well, uh... Hmm, let's see, what should I do? Should I be mean? I don't even know. Like, being nice didn't work. I don't want to lie to him. That's probably not going to help. Uh, you seem like a nice guy. A nice guy. Sure. Let me tell you something, lady. Women don't like nice guys. What's oh, your this is a Reddit man. In me. Wait. I'm wasting my time. Thanks I'm just going to be mean trying, to him next time. But this isn't going this to is work. not helpful. Hey, wait. She was trying to be nice. Did you just try to set me up? Just call me Matchmaker Malone. I'm not seducing a ghost. You don't have to go all the way. N-O spells no. Let's go get him and be mean. I'm gonna take another crack at him. Okay. Because it's clearly wait. the only thing that's going to actually work. Hey, Alan. Oh, you again. You know... You're right. I can't think of any woman who would be attracted to you. You really think so? Sorry, pal. That's the way I see it. I always thought that. But to hear someone else say it, it hits very close to home. Hey, there's some venture capitalist inside. Wants to talk to you about starting another business? Really? Someone wants to start a business with me. That's what she said. Why don't you come inside and talk to her? Well, okay. Well, just be mean, because obviously nothing else is working. Here's your investor. She's heard about your old business and wants to join forces. I don't have to be nice is to solve right? these ghost problems. This isn't some kind of gag? Of course not. She's loaded. Go on, talk to the lady. So, what's the story? You really want to invest in a bankrupt publishing supply company? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. Why? Well, uh... Actually, I just wanted to see if you were as pathetic as everybody says. Uh, what? What? Do business with you? Ha! Huh, that's a laugh. You're the joke of the publishing world. You're right. Hey, you gonna let her talk to you like that? Huh? Stand up for yourself, man. Stand up for myself? You gonna let people push you around all your life? You're right. You're right! Let her have it. Hey, lady. You don't know anything. I built this business from scratch. I clawed and wheeled and dealed all the way to the top. You see this office? You see that view? Look me in the eye and tell me I don't deserve it. I've worked all my life to be the best. Okay, I had one big setback. Maybe I thought it was over, but it's not. I got this far once, I'll do it again. You can take your money and shove it where the sun don't shine. I don't need you. Get out of here. Bravo. That felt good. Quite a rush, huh? I feel like I can do anything. Like I've got a second chance. Well, whoops. First thing I'm going to do is buy back this office. Yeah, about that? I made some mistakes before. I won't make them again. Uh, I might have fallen once, but, but, wait, I fell, didn't I? I remember now. I'm sorry. You're not really looking to invest, are you? No, I'm not. I went out onto the ledge, and I slipped. 
I don't know why I went out there, but I wasn't going to jump. I was confused. For some reason, it seemed like the right thing to do. Stupid. Stupid. What a stupid way to die. Hey, what happened to that can-do attitude of yours? It makes no difference now, does it? Maybe not to anyone else, but it does to you. Huh. Maybe you're right. So what do I do now? Oh, here we go. Let's Just see what uh, weird miasmas inside Rose's okay. head this time. Do it. Oh yeah, late title card. That's it. Nothing. Huh. a lot of space inside Rose's head. Also, this music is pretty great. These games in general have good soundtracks. I'm actually really enjoying playing through these all again. I'm uh, afraid to get to Black Will Epiphany since I don't know anything about it really, other than it's the last one. And I'm sure I'm going to be very sad. Apartment looks nice. Another day, another satisfied spook. I'd call this day done, wouldn't you? Yeah, although... What? Isn't there something we're supposed to do tonight? I don't think so. I feel like we're forgetting something. I'd ignore that feeling if I were you. Joey. We'll check the calendar last. Let's explore the room. I picked up that clock at a tag sale. Just a bunch of old articles I wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. I don't know why I kept them. I hated working there. It's full of rejection letters from publishers. Best place for them. My computer. It's not the latest model, but it does the job. A landline telephone. One of the few left in the city, I'm sure. Since Joey blocks airborne signals, there's no point in getting a cell phone. 12 Steps to Getting Your First Novel Published, Parts 1 and 2. I never could get past step number 4. This giant power strip here is delightful. This was the last article I wrote for the Village Eye. It was also my very first case as a medium. Huh. It's not much, but it's mine. I was never cut out for journalism. Susan was the only one of the three girls to survive. I looked her up once, after it was all over. She left New York and went back home to the Midwest. I assume she's alright. And these two are dead, <laughs> so we're not gonna look at those. Not to be rude, just true. Well, here's... Joey looks angry. Of course, that's nothing unusual. I like that they kept the old picture. Auntie looks kind of happy. I wonder what she was smiling about. Because she's into Joey. My mother died in a car crash soon after I was born. She looks so young in this picture. More like a kid sister than a mother. My father died in a car crash soon after I was born. Looking at this picture is like looking at a stranger. I don't know why I even bother keeping that. Remote controls don't work when Joey is around. My bedroom door, or as I like to call it, my illusion of privacy. I'm too edgy to sleep now. What am I forgetting? When was the last time I watered that plant? I think it was a week ago. I'm surprised it's still alive. I sold all of my books to a used bookstore last month. Didn't take long for the shelf to fill up again. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. I've had him since I was a kid. Oh, yeah, He's Griff. really starting to show his age. 
With Joey around, it's impossible to get a decent reception. Somehow, he blocks TV and radio signals. I just like the minutia of Seems this nonsense. Seems to do the trick, even though I rarely watch TV. Like, just so much stuff to fill in. Auntie Lauren and me, on the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't remember anything about that day. I barely remember Auntie. All my life, I wanted to know more about her. I never imagined that she was a medium. We almost look like a real family with Joey standing there. The most dysfunctional family in the country, but still. I look scared out of my mind. Maybe I could sense Joey, even then. If so, I had a good reason to be scared. Joey's alright. You like you're being a little hard on him? Yeah, it's fake, but you can hardly tell. Ghost drum? It's an African ghost drum. Oh, okay. It's supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It doesn't work. Nothing in the teapot, nothing in the kitchen. Alright. Let's talk to Joey some first. Let's talk, Joey. There's a ton of birds outside my window right now. Can I help Probably you? hear them. Looks like it's picking it up. Can't help that. It's just a nice day out. I know I'm forgetting something. Well, maybe you should have written it down. You know, I think I did. Do you remember where? No. Well, there you go. We'll check the calendar. This is going to drive me crazy. What am I forgetting? All your bills paid this month? Laundry done? It's nothing like that. It's something important. If she's... Just a thing I'm thinking. If she... Okay, so the, Joey's passed along by the women in the family. Uh, she didn't have any brothers or sisters, and her aunt obviously didn't have any kids. So if she, something happens to her, that's what happens to Joey? Does he sure. just get cast loose? That'd be kind of sad. I doubt that's how the last game ends, but... 7 p.m. The Park Gallery with Nishanti. Oh, crap. What time is it? 7.15, damn it! She's going to kill me! Oh yeah, I get to hang out with Nishanti. What's your problem? The gallery opening, don't you remember? She invited us to go. Us? Alright, me. But you're still coming. You really want to go to some stupid gallery? We're going. I'm not flicking out on her again. It's not nice. Fine. Whatever. Do what you like. It's not like I have a choice. Grumpy. Uh, what am I looking for again? Park gallery. Uh, check on the computer. I bet they added a search feature. Oh yeah, they did. Email. Um, Rosa? Oh man, she has a website and everything. That's some goofy websites. Let's read some email. Dear Rosangela Blackwell, thank you for submitting your rough draft of The Devil and the Deacon. That's the first game. To our editor. Unfortunately, we are not looking for new ghost stories at this time. We wish you best of luck in the future. Was it the Shire Delray books? Donald Quentin is the doctor from the first game. Dear Mrs. Blackwell, just wanted to touch base and see if everything was alright with you and yours. My door is always open. If you ever feel the need to chat, all the best. No thanks, Dr. Cameron. For all your software and networking needs, contact Tomo. Tomo's in all of the uh, Black or in all of Dave Gilbert's games that have computer interface. Always pitching some software. Rosangela Blackwell, please be aware that a stay away policy has been put into effect against you by a Kelly Hawthorne. Should you harass her further, we'll be forced to get the police involved. What did I do to Kelly? I just talked to her. Hello, I don't know who you are, but my daughter Susan insisted I contact you. She is home and resting and appears to be doing fine. Please stay away from us. Susan lost her two best friends and nearly her life, and her mental health is fragile. Man, being a ghost person is not helpful. Dear Rosangela Blackwell, we reviewed your submission of The Devil and The Deacon. Unfortunately, novels of this sort are not what we are looking for. If you have anything else to share, please contact us. Man, she's not doing very well. Okay, so there's the browser. Okay, this is all in the same thing. Search. Rosangela Blackwell. Don't know what else I expected to find. Rude. Uh, Joey Malone? Don't know what else I expected to find. Dave Gilbert. We're just gonna go yawn for Easter eggs. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Wadget I Games? No. How about Rabbi Stone? Russell Stone? Oh, never mind. 
Let's go. I'm tired of fooling around with that. Here we go. The Park Gallery. It's on 18th Street by 10th Avenue. <sighs> let's go and get this over with. Yeah, okay, let's see. Aims to enrich the Chelsea art community by exhibiting local artists both old and new. Park Gallery is excited to have its first public opening. Claude Erden, a network, a neighborhood street artist, will be making his debut. Park Gallery is curated by Josie Park. Okay. Close. Let's go. We can stop by and say hi to Nishanti before we finish Let's up go. for the day. Yeah, sure. Trash room. Unknown door. I have no idea who lives there. Oh. Very scary. That apartment belongs to Nishanti Sharma. She's nice, I guess. Nishanti's great. Don't be a jerk, Rosa. Oh, hey. We got a nice New York City now. This is a very nice gallery. Wow, I feel cultured already. Shh! Hi, are you here for the opening? Yes. Great! But I'm sorry, I think you came on the wrong night. The public opening's in two days. Tonight's a private showing. Oh no, I'm with someone. Nishanti Sharma? Is she here? Really? Let me check. Nish? Nish? Yes? Someone here says she knows you. That must be Rosa. It's all right, Joe. She's with me. Okay, thanks. Sorry about that. You know how it is. Sure. Anyway, I'm Josie Park. Park, and this is the Park Gallery. Man, she's clever. I bet she came up with that all by herself. Go on in. Have fun. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Okay, I had some audio problems, sorry. Uh, still adjusting. I'm uh, doing these without editing, so switching over to OBS quickly, fixing stuff. Hopefully that didn't break too bad. She's in deep conversation with Nishanti. Um, we should talk to these people. Hi there, Josie Park, was it? Yep, that's me. And you are? Rosangela Blackwell. Rosangela? What a neat name! Anyway, nice to meet you. So, are you Josie Park, as in the Park Gallery? Yep, this place is mine. We just opened. Well, technically we open in two days, but it's my gallery. If I say we're open, then poof! <laughs> we're open! Ooh, watch out. She's so sharp, she might cut herself. You have some interesting pieces here. Yeah, interesting's the word. You like them? Sure. Did you hear that, Claude? Yeah. He's convinced that nobody will understand his work. She said she liked them, not that she understood them. Oh, you. Pay no attention. Man, Claude's a jerk. Let's ask about Nishanti. So, you're a friend of Nishanti's? Oh, Nish? Isn't she marvelous? She comes to all the art events. That's how I know her. So, you're the artist? Yeah. This is Claude Erden, my discovery. Some discovery? I've been painting on your street corner for eight years. Yes, and I've seen you improve. When I got the funding to open this gallery, I knew Claude would be my breakout artist. We're having the public opening in two days. You should come. Don't count on it, lady. Well, I'm going to look around some more. Sure, have fun. All right, let's say hi to this lady. Hi, sorry I'm late. Don't worry about it. How'd you find the place? The internet. Oh, of course. I should really try using it one of these days. So, who's your friend? I'm sorry, that was rude of me. This is Monique Stallman. Monique, this is my neighbor, Rosa. The one I was telling you about. You were talking about me? She was just telling me that she had a famous writer for a neighbor. Famous? I'm hardly famous. I haven't had anything published yet. She writes ghost stories, Monique. Nish, please. Go on, tell her. It's hardly the time or place. Oh, hey, a ghost. What's wrong? Oh, Monique here has a fascinating ghost story to tell. I wouldn't call it fascinating, per se. Please, it sends shivers down my spine. Wait until you hear it. 
It's about Frank Lyons. Frank Lyons? The actor? Nish, please. Sorry, Monique, just getting carried away. I would like to hear the story, actually. It's kind of See? my job. I told you. Well, all right. But let's not talk about it here. Here's my card. If you want to talk, drop by my office tomorrow. We can discuss it in private. Thanks. I'll drop by. Oh, great. We got a lead? Thanks for inviting me. I'm glad you could make it. For a while, I was worried that I'd be here all by myself. But Monique was interesting company. I appreciate this apologize again because it's a very Rosa thing to do. But I feel like after six months of barging around being a paranormal investigator, she probably would not do that as much. So, how are you doing? Oh, you know, same old thing. Practicing my flute, walking the dog, trying to get out more. Although this weather isn't making oh, it Oh, we're going to get to see Moti again? Let's apologize. Again. I know I've been kind of flaky lately. Oh, don't worry about that. No need to stress on my account. Besides, you look exhausted. Are you all right? I'm fine. All right, if you say so. Just busy. I think I'll browse around. Just busy. Sure, Rosa. Enjoy yourself. Can we look at the art? This painting is called The Dark Lady. I don't think Josie would like that. Oh. We can't look at these paintings. Really bold lines. This would look great in my bedroom. I don't think Josie would like that. No price tag? That's unfortunate. It looks pretty abstract. These paintings look like part of a set. From a certain angle, it looks like a street corner. These look like impressionist skyscrapers. Not bad, actually. Let's see if we can talk to Claude, the jerk. Hi again. Hi, Rosangela. Well, I'm going to look around some more. No, no. Sure, have fun. I guess that's it. I can't talk to Joey here. I'll wait until we're alone. Unless we can talk to Ashanti Hi, again. Hi, Ashanti. Hello, Rosa. I think I'll browse around. Sure, Rosa. Right. Enjoy we're yourself. We're done here. And uh, we're done here. So let's uh, check this out real fast. I know that area. That's Astor Place. Monique, Cubestar Films. We got a, an email address, so what do you bet we're going to be hacking into her email at some point? That's a Dave Gilbert special, really. But until then, uh, I think we're done. Uh, thank you, everybody. For watching, and uh, I'll be back next time with another episode of The Blackwell Convergence. Have a good day.